So boys and girls, we've been doing a lot of smart work in math, and today we're going to do some more really good work. You're going to notice up on the board that I have a learning target here, and I'm going to ask if somebody could please read this aloud to me. Jada, would you please read it? I can apply my understanding of how to find the perimeter of an object in order to solve real word problems. Today's objective was to teach the children how to solve for perimeter, really find a purpose in their real life of why they would need to know perimeter, and then throw a little problem solving into it. You know, we didn't want to just keep it as, okay, to solve perimeter, you add up the sides. You know, that's pretty surface level understanding. So I decided I need a fence around my garden. So I'm going to put up a fence. Okay, boys and girls, while Mrs. Macquarie is doing that on the smart board, on your paper in front of you, draw a fence around your garden. Mrs. Macquarie is going to buy her fencing this afternoon. I wonder how she'll determine how much fencing she needs to order. That's a Think about really it. good question. Turn and talk to your partner about how she may determine how much fencing she needs to order when she gets to the store. I don't want to just give them a bunch of worksheets where you have the sides all given to, to them and they are just asked to add up and find the perimeter. I want to make sure that they truly understood what perimeter meant. In order to figure out the perimeter, we figure out the distance around the entire outside of my figure. And that's what we call perimeter. And we find that by adding up all of our sides. Can you help me do some adding now? What is 7 plus 7, boys and girls? 14. 14, good. And now I'm going to add my other double, 6 plus 6. And what does that equal? Yell it out. Wow. Excellent. And what do you think Mrs. Macquarie has to do with these two numbers that I got now? Add those two together. Yes, and I'm going to add 14 plus 12 together. And what am I going to get, Michael, when I add 14 plus 12? 26. 26. So Mrs. Macquarie is going to write P for perimeter equals 26 yards. We're going to now create our own perimeters. We've worked with these one-inch tiles before when we were dealing with area. Today we're going to use them for perimeter. The tiles we have used when the children were figuring out area, um, and we figured that was a good way to now introduce perimeter so that we can now follow up with, now you've created a figure with the tiles for area, calculate the perimeter, and we could really make the connection be between the two because they're using the same manipulative for it. You're going to work with your partner, and we're going to create a figure on your work board using these tiles that is exactly 14 inches. And then as far as the shift depth of knowledge, when they had to go off into their groups independently and use the tiles, now they were not only asked to just add up all the sides, they were asked to create the perimeter of various objects. And that was a really nice way to see who really truly understood perimeter and who maybe needed some extra support to get where they needed to be. What are you guys doing right here? Tell me what you got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Excellent. So I wanted them to realize there's more than one way to solve that and that they might not necessarily have the same area. They might not have used the same number of tiles. So it's really just, again, diving into that deeper knowledge, that deeper understanding, letting kids discover on their own. You guys are counting the tiles. When we're looking for perimeter, what are we counting? The side. We're counting the, so the outside. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I also need to count eight, nine. Okay, count that for me. Do it that way and count it for me. Remember, perimeter is the outside, not the inside tiles. Wait, 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 don't move it yet. Let her finish counting. I think that's great. You're already thinking. That's great. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So what can we do? So, okay, you take two out. Let's see what happens. Let's try again. A couple of kids at first wanted to count the tiles. 
and they, you know, they were a confusing area at first. So it's those questions that you're scaffolding to get them to it, and then they were able to, you know, rectify. A lot of times you get that gap, you get that quiet time, and you want to give them the answer, and you want to spoon feed them, and you want to teach them, but it's really all about discovery. I think I got it. Okay, try to count out loud so I can hear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, you want to try again? Samantha, count out loud. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Excellent. You didn't give up. You got it. When they realize that they've done it, they, you just see it. Like, it's like, oh my goodness, wow. I didn't, they have that aha moment, as we say in teaching. And it, it just makes it more meaningful and more purposeful for them. <laughs>